Eight is great was the 2009 motto at Wells Fargo. This meant that each client should have not one, not two, but eight accounts open. NPR's Well Fargo Hurts Whistleblowers traces the rise of the greedy sales culture that led to two million bogus accounts and to the blacklisting of employees who told the truth. Lawmakers in Washington now demanding answers from Wells Fargo. We heard the reports on NPR about former Wells employees, and that's what got us interested. Good employees were pushed to do some very bad things, like opening up bank accounts that customers never asked for. They shut the door, lock the door, and they say, if you don't meet your solutions, you will be fired, and it's going to be on your permanent record. I had to declare bankruptcy because you know, currently I'm working for minimum wage and my career is over, thanks to Wells Fargo. Here to accept the Peabody Award is Chris Arnold. We have a big crew here, a beautiful crew. I'd like to dedicate this award to my dad. My dad was a public health doctor, and back in the 70s, he was doing anti-tobacco research and going up against the big tobacco companies. And he would do this thing when he left the house in the morning, and I still remember he'd say, I'm off to make the world a healthier place, like he was some kind of public health superhero or something. At least that's what he was to me. And some of that must have rubbed off, because I think a similar sort of impulse motivates me today as a reporter, and that's probably true for a lot of us here too. You know, we, we find things that are wrong or important or funny or beautiful, and with great storytelling, we share them with the world to make it a better place. I'm incredibly lucky to work with the people standing up here with me. Robert is a storytelling and narrative genius. Every chance I get to collaborate with him, he's fantastic. Uri is, is just a well, he's my favorite editor ever. ever. He's just has a well of, of story ideas that seems bottomless. Elizabeth was supposed to be a producer. She did great reporting for us. Neil is the greatest supervisor I've ever had. Alex and Bryant boggle my mind how every week they get great Planet Money podcasts out there, week after week after week. All these folks are part of why public broadcasting is such a national treasure. So I'd like to ask you. Thank you. So please consider supporting your local public station. <laughs> and we're going to keep reporting on this Wells Fargo story and whether the industry adopts reforms that make a difference. Thank you.